suffered the brake ban. <laughs> the troublesome trucks were being difficult again. Stop that, will you? Leave your brakes off. While Thomas was struggling to get them moving, Samson arrived from the mainland. Hello, Thomas. Are your trucks being troublesome again? <sighs> very troublesome. My trucks are very well behaved. Tut, tut, tut. Those trucks of yours. Disgraceful behavior. I wouldn't put up with nonsense like that. Oh? Hello. And who are you? I'm Bradford. Take me along with you, and I'll show you how I do with the trucks. Well, okay, Bradford. I do need a brake van. My name's Thomas, by the way. Couple me up face in them, Thomas. I needs to keep an eye on this bothersome bunch. <laughs> I'm in charge now, so no bumping and none of you a cheek! <laughs> but we like bumping! Not on my watch, matey. This is now a bump-free zone! Oh dear, oh sad, never mind. When you're ready, Thomas. <laughs> The other engines thought Thomas was lucky to be working with such a wonderful brake van as Bradford. <laughs> I wish my trucks were that well behaved. <laughs> wrong according to the official railway safety guideline manual the level of stone in these cars is nine millimeters too high what you'll have to empty some of them out thomas before i can allow you to proceed but uh, if i stop to unload i'll be late thomas following the rules is more important than being on time <sighs> Oh. Ah, Thomas, you're very late. Just leave those trucks, go and fetch Annie and Clarabel, and get back on schedule. Yes, sir. If you're not using your new brake band, Thomas, could I use him, please? Oh, be my guest with. His name's Bradford. Okay, Bradford. Ready to roll? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! What? What's wrong? You are going nowhere until these mucky cars have cleaned themselves up. But they're only going to be carrying dirty waste to the dump. No matter. A dirty car is a disorderly car. Now, off to the washdown! Hut, hut, hut! Move it, move it! Oh. And it wasn't just Thomas and Whiff who found themselves delayed by Bradford. Hello, Bradford! Henry, I noticed a tiny crack in your lamp. That'll need to be replaced. But the Steamworks is miles away. I have my fish deliveries to make. Safety always comes first, Henry. Even when fish are involved. Oh. Henry came back to the sheds late, and all the engines were sharing their stories about Bradford, the new brake van. And I was so late, so Topham Hat was furious. He was cross with me, too. And all because Bradford made me drive really slowly after 
after he'd noticed one leaf on the line. He keeps making us late with all his silly rules and regulations. And we keep getting in trouble with Sir Topham Hat. But we don't have to work with him. There are other brake vans we can take. <sighs> but later that morning, oh. Thomas had to collect some more stone from the quarry. <gasps> And Bradford was the only brake van available. Oh, no. Not Bradford. He'll just make me late again. Rather than get in more trouble, Thomas decided to slip off quietly without a brake van. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas! Hold on! I need to speak to you! Hurry up, Owen! This time, Sir Topham Hat will be very pleased with me. <laughs> then there was more trouble. <laughs> With too many rocks and no brake van to help him slow down, Thomas couldn't stop. Percy! Thomas? Look out! Look out! <laughs> 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 Sorry, Percy. Sir Topham Hatt came to inspect the scene of the accident. But luckily, there was no damage. Thomas, what were you thinking? Going off without a brake van. I'm very sorry, sir. I just didn't want to be late again. Oh, dear. Following the rules and regulations and staying safe is far more important than being on time, Thomas. Well, that's what Bradford said. I should have listened to him. I'm sorry for ignoring you when you called me before. I was very silly to go off without a brake fan. Oh, uh, right. But I wasn't calling you about that, Thomas. Uh, I was calling to say goodbye. Goodbye? <clears throat> it is with great regret that I must inform of my decision to leave this island. I'm sorry to let you all down when you're depending on me and your time of need, you but You mean I... you're leaving? Please don't make a fuss. I know how much you all appreciate me. Don't try to talk me out of it. No sad faces, no tears. I've made up my mind. I'm going back with my old pal, Samson. We make a great team, Bradford and I. Well, naturally we'll all miss you very much, Bradford. Absolutely. Terrible shame. Kitty. <laughs> See you next time we're on Sodor. Bye. See you soon. Can't wait. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no tooting whistles while stationary. <laughs> oh, all right then. Just this once. Toot away. <laughs> After all they'd been through, the engines were quite happy to say goodbye to Bradford for a while. And so were the troublesome trucks. <laughs>